How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy S7, this device right here. And just for comparison's sake, we're going to kind of rank it against the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. And you can see a little bit of size comparison as well. Obviously if I have the S7 Edge, it would be really close to the same size, honestly, the screen size. But we're going to run some benchmarks on them. So let's open up uh, Antutu and we'll go ahead and run some benchmarks. I'm really excited to see how this functions and how well these things work especially when it comes down to um, the new Vulkan GPL processor on the device for graphics. So let's go ahead and run the test on both of these. Now this one is running a little bit older version of the test. Hopefully it doesn't really change how it works, but we'll, we'll see what we got. It says open GPL. That's interesting. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, this one's a little choppy. I don't know if you can see it in the video. This is very smooth. Holy cow, is this smooth. Yeah, very choppy on the Note 5 right here. But, oh man, it's like mind-boggling how much smoother the uh, S7 edges, or the S7, I should say. Wow. I've not seen this newest uh, render here. This is pretty slick. Holy cow. It's so much smoother. The graphics are amazing on this thing. Wow. I did not expect to see it that different. That is very, very surprising to me. Wow. That's just... Wow. Yeah, I don't even know what to say about that. If video games like render that well, I'm just going to be yeah mind-boggled. Um, yeah, man. It just looks like so good. It's so smooth. You can see them, they're both playing, but... I mean, look at look at this. Look at how choppy it is. I mean, this is, this is not an old phone. This is a good phone. Oh my goodness. The comparison, like, blows you away. This is, like, perfect. Perfectly rendered, looks amazing. And then this thing's, like, so choppy, it's hard to watch it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I can't wait to see the scores on this because this is just amazing. Yeah, holy cow, that's crazy. Just look how choppy it is. Look at it. Note 5 is just terrible. All right, so now we're doing some uh, image processing fish eye, it looks like, test. You can see they're actually... They're, the Note 5 is not that far behind it, honestly, but um, just in speed and processing, you can see they're... they're pretty equal for the most part but um I, that is just amazing i mean i'm not joking that processing is ridiculously better on the s7 like just the, the 3d just looks crazy good so now we're testing ram you can see we got a ram performance test running um right there random access ram speed um we did the 3d and that was wicked i'm, I'm just still seriously just mind-boggling. I can't wait to play some games on this thing. If you guys have a recommendation for what games I should play that are really, like, graphic intense, um, I want to play at least a couple of games and make some videos on, on the gameplay, the game footage on it. Uh, definitely leave a video, a comment in the video description down below so I can see, you know, what games you guys recommend. Something I can just do some quick gameplay uh, footage of and show you how it's rendering and if it's got any lag. But uh, the way that looks, there's no way it's going to have any lag. That was, like, sick. Like, sick. I think I think video games have finally landed, honestly, on mobile because that is ridiculous. So we're on CPU right now, multi-threading, multitasking. We're about 70% of the process here, so we're getting very, very close, very close. And we'll have one more test after that, which is um, UX. So 3D, RAM, CPU, and then UX will be our last thing to test. I do notice I'm on two different benchmarks versions, which I'm not sure why. I just downloaded both of them like just now. So that's kind of weird to me, but um, I guess it is what it is. So you can see that right there and there. If that makes any difference to you guys, I don't know. Maybe this one's harder, but the way that that was lagging was ridiculous on the, on the 3D graphics. Faster, faster! Super speed! All right, so here you go. Samsung Galaxy S7, of course, finished first, and it should. It is the latest device, but look at that score. 
What? 129,181. <laughs> and look at this score. 54,300. At, this phone is not that old. This but this thing just blew it out of the water. And look at 3D. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's where the numbers are. That 3D is insane. Look at this. You're at 9,000. 51,000. That's nuts. UX, 18,000, CPU, that's a good percentage bump right there. 21,000 to 31,000. RAM, a little nice little bump here as well to uh 4000 and to 6000 that like seriously if you like to game you got to get one of these and and honestly i mean whether it's the 6 or the 7 or the 7 edge the 7 edge is going to have bigger screen bigger battery probably more for for gaming but i'm seriously was not expecting this at all so there you go guys if you want to see some video games played on it definitely let me know like i said comment in the description down below stay tuned for more videos showing off some cool features here on the samsung galaxy s7 and we'll catch you in the next one root junkie out